ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हियर वेलकम टू द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ क्रैश क्रॉस आर पी जेली सो बिफोर आई प्रोसीड ऑन राइट द लास्ट वीडियो विच वी आई हैव अपलोडेड हैज बीन एंडेड आई मीन नॉट फुल्ली अपलोडेड ओके आई वॉज आई सॉ दैट लेटर ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू क्लैरिफाई दैट सो देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन रिगार्डिंग वॉट एपन्स आफ्टर दैट सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल so i think uh, we corrected one error which is that in06 is star on uh, which we change basically right and then we got another error the error is nothing but emsg add is actually our variable name for the error message but if you just go and see uh, somewhere here okay i have emsg all so that is a uh, error message we got after that after the video ends and then after i corrected that uh, it was working fine as expected so with uh, with uh, saying that right so we're going to proceed with our next coding so let me log in okay so yeah let's finish this cross with this part so as usual i have the remaining portions here so if you go and call this one uh, if you go to student login previously it was nothing which means uh, if you go to, to password okay these two options we have not uh, coded okay now i have got the first one which is a view my profile basically okay if you go there you should be able to see your details okay so i'm not doing this uh, edit profile because i'm going to give this as a uh, homework or whatever it is so you can just try it by yourself uh, but let's quickly see how to do that uh, okay it should be straight forward i know if you are watching this series uh, until now but let's quickly do that so let me go to my display file here okay so yeah i have added a s07 fmt if you go to 12 nothing fancy just some display file records so here i used f10 to bring the uh, columns from their pf okay that's why if you go and check the field names it will be same as your pf names okay and everything is an output mode because it's just a display okay and then as usual we are uh, having the indicator keyword for uh, 03 and 012 nothing else and uh, yeah so the thing to note is here is actually right this will come from here okay after we have the student uh, details okay we'll be having the option 1 then we'll go in okay but we need to display the student information okay but the thing is the screen was uh, I, the screen was preceded by entering the student details only okay because it is actually a student menu okay and if you go and see the parent screen of this basically this one student login here uh, the user already entered the student user id so we got we are going to use this user id okay and then uh, find the user for that user detail for that user id and then we going to display it okay so if you see this it is the field called user id so we will be using this field so just i'm telling you as a reference okay and then what we have in zero for fmt if you have anything uh, i'm going to add one error message here uh, in case if the option is not valid right so emsg05 because it's screen 05 so nothing else that's it so let me go and save this one f3 no k14 should get compiled okay this is my rpg jelly so here uh, i can just bring this bigger okay let's come down we come down directly we have this is the place which will go to student subroutine in student subroutine we will be having we will be checking the student details and if all is good we'll go to student options and in student options uh yeah so here wait uh, where is the code man i'm lost now <laughs> okay let me get the code and give me a moment uh ta 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 okay if the role student the positive match execute this so student option let's catch this guy F10. Okay, yeah, here it is. So in student option, as of now, it's nothing. We just display the XFMT, but we are not getting any input from the screen. 
okay but now we are going to get the input from the screen so which means in the exfmt we can either give option 1 or 2 okay and based on that we are going to code so let's quickly do that one so here if it is not f12 will come down so here i'm just going to have a select statement uh, something like uh, uh, yeah select when uh, I think it's T U O P T. I'll double con double confirm this, which is the is entering one or two, right? That field, okay, equal to one. Okay, we should do something. Uh, okay, obviously there will be a when S T U O P T equal to two, there will be a thing, and other there will be a thing, and then that's it. So end S C L. So as usual. If it is other, we uh, we know that emsg05 equal to invalid option. We can put like this, and if it is one, okay, uh, we know to have uh, display one student. So I'm going to have a subroutine. Here it's very straightforward because uh, in this subroutine, I'm just going to display the new screen which we added, which is A07FMT. And uh, for to bring the details right, uh, we just need to get the details with the user ID field because the user ID field which is already having the user ID, right? So we just with that user ID, we just need to chain it and then get the data. So let's quickly code this display one student. Uh, okay, so I can copy this. Okay, and then can copy this. Can change this to display one student. Okay, and here, as usual, do while star in zero three equal to star off. Okay, okay. Generally, if I put ex fmt s zero seven fmt, it will just display the screen. But before display it, I need the data. So I can do here like chain usr id to students. So this command will chain this user id with the students database, and then it will get me the data. Okay, then it will display it. Okay, and then if suppose after displaying it, if they pressed f twelve, I simply want to leave this subroutine that's it okay let's see how this works file 14 call so here we go student login 22222 password okay so we got the screen if you press enter it says invalid option because we didn't give any option if you give two it didn't say anything uh, we need to clear this one okay we will do that and then if you give one it goes to the screen and you see all the details so it's pretty straightforward okay so the only missing piece or the thing to correct is we can have a fi option to clear it and then uh, by default we can clear this one so let's do that emsg05 okay this guy so before even we come to this place what we can do uh, after we display xfmt we can clear the msg05 so every time it gets cleared okay and also if it is not f12 uh, we need to check something like else if star in05 equal to star on okay then i will also do clear emsg05 and clear stu stu opt yeah so stu opt is correct so i just realized that also okay file 14 cool so now if you go there password enter it's there so if i give say for example 2 it gets cleared because we didn't code anything for 2 but at the same time the error message gets getting cleared that's good what we expect so yeah that's it for this video and this makes the end of the crash course rpg le and i really hope this gives you a good background on how to proceed with the rpg le for the especially beginners so i really got some good feedback on this for the last three months or so okay so i'm really happy about it and uh, 
the next year is approaching and i really have many updates coming in so stay tuned so i'm going to catch you in the next video with all the new updates and what we're going to do for the next year okay so it will be pretty much interesting and also uh, kind of uh, new updates i don't know how it's going to be but there will be a lot of other stuffs going in apart from rpg and days 400 so stay tuned for that so thanks for watching bye bye